and I keep saying it because I cried so hard when I got home because I'm like, yo, I'm sacrificing money that I don't have to get to this church. I'm sacrificing um, money that I don't have for Ubers to try to serve at this church. And y'all are treating me like I don't, I, I don't get it, y'all. Like, first of all, we are in church. Why are y'all this messy in church? <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naya J, and if you guys are here to stay, then stay. Make sure you give this video a like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and if you're here to go, then go. Bye. We don't need you here anyway. Today we're doing a makeup, get ready with me. It's not so much of a tutorial as it is a story time. I'm gonna tell y'all a story about the time I tried to, I tried to serve at my church, and they were treating me as if, like I was a peasant or something like, and I'm not tripping. Y'all gonna see when I tell the story. It is hot in here. I got me a new makeup bag, y'all, and I'm so excited because I don't know if y'all have seen my old makeup bag, but it was like, rink the dink. But this one has like a bunch of compartments and stuff, and I really want to start doing like makeup on other people. Listen, I don't know what to tell y'all. It's summertime. Y'all better just imagine it's a bikini and keep it pushing because look at it, look at it, look at it. They so cute, just like me. I'm not going to name the church that I go to simply because, I don't know, like I know that's pretty annoying when people do that, I'm ashy. In the name of the church, you know, that way we don't have to run into the same problems you did. I don't believe you're gonna run into the same problems I did. Simply because I will admit that I wasn't joining the church all the way for the right reasons, um, but my heart was there and I wanted to be used and I just, I really, I genuinely wanted to be used. I genuinely wanted them to put my hands to use. I, and I even told them that. I was like, y'all, like, like, use me. Like, I'm right here. Like, I have been on YouTube. I have been on social media. I have been editing, doing all this stuff since I was, like, eight years old. And the team that I wanted to join was the creative team. So let me back track. <laughs> so we were doing this 21-day um, fast at my church. It was a Daniel fast. If you don't know what a Daniel fast is, it is basically you eat nothing but natural, like foods, vegetables, fruits, nuts. What Daniel had to do when he was in the wilderness, or in, yeah, whatever you call it. Do not learn your Bible stories from me because I will paraphrase them. It is not my responsibility to get you into heaven, okay? But yeah, we were doing that fast. So I was waking up at four o'clock in the morning every morning and I was getting Ubers to church because I don't have a car, I don't drive. I, I know how to drive, however, I just don't have a car to do so. Um, and so I was waking up at four o'clock in the morning to get there by 6 a.m. So one of the days, right, I pulled the pastor to the side and I told him, I said, hey, like, I don't have a car and you know, I, I come here with Uber and I barely have enough money for Uber at that. Um, I don't have enough money for that. Like I either have enough money for Uber or I have enough money for food. I don't really have money for both. But because I have as much faith as I do in Jesus, I choose Jesus. So I went to church and I would even ask for rise and y'all, I have anxiety. And don't come up here talking about, oh, how are you Christian and you say you have anxiety? Because I do, and I don't like asking people for stuff. It's probably trauma. I told him my situation, and he was like, you know what, let me get you connected to, let's call her Jay, okay? Her name is Jay. Let's get you connected to Jay at the church. So I said, okay, and Jay sat me down, and I was sitting there. Now, mind you, I don't. the reason why I don't like asking for help is for this reason. I don't like when people look at me, and they look at me as if I'm helpless. I'm not helpless. You want to help me? Don't make me feel helpless. Cause I sat down and I talked to her and um, she was like, yeah, well, tell me what you're good at. And I was like, okay, well, I'm good at this, 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 yada, yada, this, that, and the third. She was like, oh, I think you'll be great on the creative team. I said, I think so too, girl. DM her on Instagram. I believe it was like the next day. And I was like, hey, like about the creative team, like can I, can I shadow the creative? This looks a mess. She's the one that told me that I can go and shadow them and, and get like, you know, experience and stuff. Like she offered it to me, which is why I even said what I said in the first place. Which team do you want to like shadow like or something like that along the lines? I'll even put screenshots if I got to, but this is not a messy video. Like the creative team, I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the one that you told me, right? 
And she was like, okay, well, we'll I'll see what I can do. So I ended up going to church, and she ended up telling me to stay after church, because in my church, we have two services. After the 9 o'clock service, at 11, I found Jay, and I was like, hey, uh, I'm here to shout out the team. And she already kind of had, like, an attitude about it. Like, she went to the back, and she was like, hey, y'all, this is Naya. I'm the one that told her, you know, she can shout out y'all, so kind of as if she was apologizing for it like I started shadowing the team so I'm waving at people I'm like hey how are you people are looking they're like hey how are you like are you about to join the team and I'm like yeah this is one girl I don't know her name but I remember she was in front of the computer like she was editing like mega churches have like uh we have instagrams and youtubes and stuff like that so we have people who edit social media content again it was the creative team so she was in front of the computer and I remember speaking to everybody and I was like hey and everybody was just kind of like hey and I listened we were fasting and stuff we were eating we were only allowed to have like smoothies they just water, water, like that. soup and stuff like that so I'm like okay maybe they just maybe everybody just hangry right so I didn't think anything of it. That's my problem, thinking nothing of everything, right? Until it got to the point to where I was like, um, I was like, oh, period, that looks good. Go, girl, like, like, oh, you did that. You, you edited that picture. And they, I kid you not. And I was like, okay. And then this guy came in and he introduced himself to me. And I don't know his name, y'all, because, look, again, I'm not good at names. He was like, hey, so you, you must be um, joining the, uh, the creative team. Like, are you joining? And I said, I don't know, maybe. And then that same girl, she looked at me. And she just kind of cut her eye at me. And I was like, okay. Like, first of all, we are in church. Why are y'all this messy in church? It's really ridiculous. It don't make, it don't make no sense. He said, oh, well, my name is, let's say, Jake because I don't really know the man's name. Um, and I was like, okay, well, hi, Jake. He was like, LOL, I'm just kidding. That's not my real name. And he was like, and then, and then the girl started laughing. And he laughed and he was like, I play with everybody like that. Don't take it personal. And she put her hand up and she was like, no, you don't. I guess trying to make me feel embarrassed or something. So I took it upon myself. I was like, that's all right, because I'm different. I'm like that. You know, because one, you're not about to try to embarrass me. And two, not in church. Like, don't piss me off. Who check your heart posture, Naya? Because talking about it again is just pissing me off. After I said that, the guy, he dapped me up. He was like, hey, that's what I'm talking about. And then the girl rolled her eyes again. And honestly, I'm surprised her eyes ain't get stuck in the back of her head. Then she gets an attitude and gets mad. And then she goes to the back. Awkward. Looking the whole time like, like, what did I do? Like, the whole time you tried to embarrass me and you're mad that I have self-confidence in myself and you couldn't embarrass me. Like, I'm confused. What I started doing, I started singing. I started worshiping. I started clapping. Oh, 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 oh. Worshiping because I have a temper. I do. I have a temper, y'all. And it got to the point where I was like, look, like... <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm the new girl and all, but I mean, that's the thing. I'm not even new to the church. Like I've been, I've been to the church for about like, two years now, literally. So I'm not even new to the church. Um, but I'm like, I, in my head, I'm like, I know I'm new, but I'm like this close. Like, hey, you don't know the things that I've been through. I just started worshiping, and they looked at me like I was crazy. But at this point, I didn't care because y'all didn't care. When I was waving at y'all, y'all didn't care. When I was hyping y'all up, when y'all was editing y'all's pictures, y'all didn't care when I was trying to be nice. When I was trying to be everybody's friend, nobody wanted to be my friend. So I don't care. So it is what it is. It was like the end of church. And I guess I was impressing um, the leader of the creative team. I don't remember her name either. I was impressing her because I knew a lot of stuff. I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was talking about. Like, it was at the point to where she would open an, editor, an editing app, and I'd be like, oh, that's, um, that's InShot. Oh, that's CapCut. She was like, yeah, like, how you know? I said, girl, I told you. Like, I'm ready to be, like, I'm ready. Use me. I to be involved. But I started singing, because I sing everywhere I go. And this girl looked at me, and she was like, whoa, you can sing. You ever thought about joining choir? Mind you, I wanted to be on the worship team. So choir is the first step. And it's funny because I was asking the people in the creative team about choir because I saw it on the boat on the whiteboard and nobody wanted to answer my questions. But God is God and he don't care what your attitude look like. So I was singing and she was like, yeah, you ever thought about joining choir? And I was like, actually, yes, um, I would love to join choir. She said, I want you to come to choir practice. And I was like, OK, um, I'll come. So in my head, 
the leader of the creative team wanted me to come back on Wednesday to train because she liked me. And then one of the some of the people in the choir, they wanted me on the choir and they wanted me to come practice because they heard my, the anointing in my voice. So I'm like, oh, okay, Lord, period. Like, it's time to serve. Then the next time we're at church, I'm standing out there talking to everybody and stuff. And Jay comes. She's like, hey, Naya. And I already knew in her tone it was something. But I didn't say nothing. Um, I was just like, hey. She's like, um, whenever you're free, can you come to the prayer room and come talk to me? I said, yeah, sure. And as soon as we get in there, she closes the door and she's like, so how was, um, how was creative? I was like, it was good. Um, is there anything that happened or went down? I was like, no, it was pretty much good. But then I ended up telling her, I said, but the girls were acting kind of strange. I don't know what I did to them, but, um, I will be hyping them up. When they edited their, when they were editing their pictures and stuff, but they just wouldn't talk to me. And I don't know, you know, if they were hungry. Like I told her the same thing, and she was like, "Okay, well, I think you should do Fresh Start." I said, "What's Fresh Start?" And she said, "Fresh Start." I think that's what it's called, Fresh Start. She was like, "But Fresh Start is something that you know the beginners do before they serve at church." I said, "Is this something everybody has to do?" She said, no. I said, so why is it that you're asking me to do it? And she's like, well, I just think it'll be good for you to learn the culture of the church and everything. I said, but I've been going to this church for a year and a half. I'm not new to this church. I know the church. I said, I feel like you're trying to like put a break and a pause on what God is trying to do in my life. And I don't too much like that. And she was like, no, that's not what it is. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm not trying to dim your light or anything. I just want you, I think it'll be a good benefit for you. And I was like, okay, but I just don't agree. I don't believe that's what God is telling me. And she was like, well, honestly, I'm the leader. Cause you know, she's a spiritual daughter at church. She was like, I'm the leader. And I'm telling you that I do hear God's voice and I do know what's best. And if you don't agree with what I'm saying, then we're not hearing the same voice. Okay. And I was like, okay. And she was like, and honestly, like, you know, there are other churches in the area who accept a more mature crowd. And honestly, I wouldn't want to go to a church where I don't trust my leader's decision making. Um, so I would find a new church. I said, oh. Okay. It's like, yeah, I would I find a new church. Um, and that pissed me off. Because first of all, God would never, never, ever, his solution would never be to push somebody away from church. Ever. God's solution will never be to, oh, uh, well, go find a new church because you're not listening to what I'm saying. That ain't God. And you're not going to tell me that that's God, right? Um, so she said that and it was like a long drawn out conversation. I ended up apologizing. Even though it wasn't even my place to apologize. But I, I was like, okay, I'm sorry for tr um, not trusting your judgment. Um, I said, okay, well, I'll consider it. I said, but well, I can't promise you that I'll do it. Because you're telling me that Fresh Start is not something everybody does. But you want me to do it. I'm not understanding. Like, I'm good at everything. I said, the, the, the head of the creative team, she, she wants me there. I said, so I don't understand why. I said, isn't, isn't the head of the creative team a leader too? She said, well, yeah, she is, but she just got here to the church. She's not even really a leader like that, for real. She's really a new leader, so um, I know more than her. What on God's green? What on God's green earth is going on? What the heck is going on here? So uh, I said, so you don't want me to come on Wednesday to train for the creative team? She said, no, I don't think you should come. I said, so what about choir practice? I don't think you should come to that either. Okay, so this this gotta be about something else, cause it ain't it ain't about what you're saying. It's about it got it, it's it's something it's something else. Okay, there's something else, cause what you're saying is not adding up. One plus one is equaling eleven when it's supposed to equal two. One plus five is equaling fifteen when it's supposed to equal six. Okay, what you're saying is not making sense. And at this point, you're pissing me off. I didn't say that though. I just said okay, and I left. I went up to the first lady and I told her what happened, cause I'm like. Instead of being upset, let me just tell the first lady, because this is the first lady's spiritual daughter. Let me just tell her what's going on in her church. 
So I told the first lady and everything, and I even told her, I was like, you know, I'm not mad at the girl. She's my sister in Christ. I'm, it's not me against her. At the end of the day, this is my home. I feel like this church is my home, but I don't feel like, you know, the way she came at me, I don't think that's, I don't, I don't think God would tell somebody to leave, that his solution wouldn't be to leave church, period. It just wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that. I don't want, I don't want to hear it. All right, the next morning came for prayer, and I'm looking for the first lady like she promised, first lady didn't even show up and instead it was like the, the co-pastor because we have a co-women's pastor too she preaches when our pastor cannot preach she came up to me she's like well first lady if she doesn't feel well she she's not feeling well but she wanted me to relay this message but she agrees with jay and she thinks that you should do fresh start she wanted me to tell you that she sees your heart so i said okay and i went up to jay and i apologized to jay because that's what women do so I apologized to Jay. I said, I'm sorry for not trusting your judgment. I'm sorry for giving you a hard time, yada, yada, yada. Like, well, I said, well, when is Fresh Start? She said, it's every Saturday at like 12 in the afternoon or 11, uh, from 11 in the a.m. to 12 in the afternoon or something like that. And I said, okay, so Saturday comes. I get dressed to go to Fresh Start. I come to church on Saturday. Again, I get an Uber and the lights are off. Okay. So I'm like, all right, easy mistake. It was an easy mistake, common misunderstanding. So I'm looking around for somebody because I hear the um, worship team, I hear them practicing. And I'm looking around and I'm like, hey, do you know where the fresh start, like where I go for fresh start, like where is the room? Where is the room for fresh start? And I swear to you, the girl looked at me and she's like, what's that? Okay. I said, well, Jay told me to come every Saturday for Fresh Start. It's something that you do before you start serving. I said, did you do Fresh Start? She said, no, um, I actually just came. She said, I, she said, no, she was like, yeah, I did. I did one day of it actually. And um, ever since I've been on the worship team. And then I found out one of the other girls, <laughs> she, they, they added her to creative team after like, six, like three months or three to four months of her being at the church. I'm like, I've been here for a year and some change and y'all are giving me a hard time. I'm confused, somebody, somebody lying. So the girl, she calls the, the, I guess like the head of Fresh Start or whatever. And he's like, oh, well we changed it to Thursday nights. We don't do it on Saturdays no more. Okay. I said, all right, what time Saturday, I mean, what time Thursday night? He gave me the time Thursday night. Right, what's that? I said, all right. I even got the girl's number. I was there um, practicing for, worship team and I was like okay so I came Thursday night and I'm asking everybody where is the room for um fresh start um so I go to the back where they told me it'll be at and fresh start wasn't happening back there it was some games that were happening and I played the games uh it was games of them recruiting people um, to see like which teams they wanted them to join at the church. Y'all, I'm like, I guess Fresh Start just don't exist. So I start signing up for stuff. I start signing up I'm like, okay, maybe this is the Lord's way of explaining to me like this is, you know, he didn't want me to do it that way. He wanted me to join the church a different way. And y'all, my mama tried to warn me. She was like, are you sure this is the church you want to go to? I said, what you mean? And she was like, I wouldn't want to go to a church where they treated me like that. I'm like, no, nah, it's all right. It's okay. I believe God wants me here. So I kept showing up. Um, I wrote my name down on so many different pieces of paper. Of course, I also wrote it down on the creative team piece of paper. Because don't play with me. I'm going to still join this team whether y'all like it or not. Okay, I'm not here for y'all. I want to be on creative team. Because again, God says your gifts will make room for you. There is no other team that I'm good at, but the one that I need to join. Oh yeah, and let me backtrack. Jay actually said, we, we talked about that. And she was like, well, God. sometimes God wants to expand you in different areas. And sometimes we can think we know what we want, but that's not the place that God wants us. And I'm looking at her like, like, girl, I know what, I know what God's voice sound like. Like, you don't know Naya Jay. These people don't know Naya Jay. They don't know me. Cause if they did, they wouldn't be talking the way they was talking. And I'm like, yeah, I understand. However, that's where I'm gifted is in creative. 
You know, I have a YouTube channel. I have a TikTok. I make channel art. I know how to Photoshop. I can use Canva. I can use Adobe. I can use it. Like, I'm not understanding. Like, I have this thing where if, it, if what you're saying don't sound like what God said, then God didn't say it. And I don't want to hear it. I know my father's voice. So, that's when she was like, yeah, well, maybe we don't hear the same voice. Okay, girl. So, after that, um, I just got fed up. And I was like, you know what? I'm just done. Like, at this point, I'm done. Like, y'all... <laughs> Nobody knows the fresh start is. Nobody knows when the time is. Nobody knows when I should show up. Nobody knows who I am. Nobody knows nothing. Everybody just confused. I'm just so you telling me I just got this information from my booty hole and I'm just making stuff up. Why don't nobody know nothing? I went home. I went home that Saturday and I cried. I cried real tears. I said, God, why do people treat me like this? I don't understand. Like, I'm trying to do what you told, what you called me to do. And they're treating me as if I'm like a peasant. Or, like, I don't get it. I, I don't get it, y'all. But I feel like this church cares more about how you look and looking like you fit into their church than actually um, wanting to serve for the right reasons. That pisses me off about churches these days. And again, don't. Don't let other people be the reason why you stop going to church. But I ain't gonna lie. I stopped going to that church for a little minute. Because nah, like, yeah, this is a prank. This is a prank. And this ain't real. It wasn't real, y'all. Because it, it has to still be a prank. Like, it has to be some kind of initiation process. Some kind of sick initiation thing they do. Because no. It's a prank. I was lying to y'all, bro. I'm not lying. I'm... I am as serious as a heart attack right now. Stop doubting what God shows you. If he shows it to you, he showed it to you, period. You don't need to ask why. Why, why God, why are you showing me this? It don't matter why. He showed it to you. So follow suit accordingly, period. So he showed it to me. And I didn't listen. I didn't listen. Um, I kept I kept doubting myself. Everybody, I would still say hey to everybody. But y'all, like these people genuinely acted like I was a disease. Like they would look at me, even one of the girls, right? She's on the worship team too. Um, I didn't know she was on the worship team. I saw her sitting down and I was like, oh, hey. And I got her Instagram and stuff. And then I saw that she posted herself um, uh, on stage. And I said, oh, I didn't know you were on worship team. I said, I said, how, like, you know, how did you get there? Like how, what process did you take to get there to the worship team? And um, she left me on scene. Oh, that girl, Cece. I was like, wow, ain't no way. Like, ain't no freaking way. It has to be some kind of gossip that was going on about me there. And everybody just thought of me something different than what I really was. Um, and they were right. They weren't hearing from the same voice I was hearing from. Because if they was hearing from the same voice I was hearing from, they wouldn't have treated me like that. They would have known to touch not my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. They didn't know you guys. They treated me how they thought they should. How they thought they should have treated me. <laughs> yeah. And it took me a minute. Like, it's been about six months, I will say, since all this happened. And it took me a minute. It did. It took me a minute to get over it. Because I'm like, Lord, no way. Like, it, again, this got to be a prank. <laughs> This has to be a prank, Lord. Like, or maybe you're testing me. Maybe you're testing my patience or something. Because I'm like, Lord, I don't understand. This, this got to be a prank. That's what, I, and I keep saying it because it still has to be a prank. No freaking way, bro. I'm disappointed in the body of Christ because that's not how y'all treat your sisters or brothers in Christ. It's not. And people pick and choose who they want to be friends with too. It's like people choose who they want to be friends with. In the Christian community, based on aesthetics, which is trifling, <laughs> it's trifling because God didn't God didn't save you because you fit His aesthetic. God didn't pick you because you fit His aesthetic. So it's selfish of you to sit there and pick people and sit there and pick people to serve for you or pick people to be friends with you or pick people to serve with you or pick people to call your sister in Christ or brother in Christ because they fit an aesthetic. And you can judge me and you can say whatever you want to say about me. But Buki, only God is the one who has the final say about me.
care about nobody else's opinion about me because when I care, y'all didn't care about me. When I was asking y'all for help, y'all didn't care about me. You know, most churches, if you tell them you're struggling like that, they'll donate money to you or something. Since you hear from God so much, right? And since you know what God says so much, and since you have so much discernment, why couldn't you discern that I needed help? Why couldn't you discern that I was a, a true servant and I really wanted to serve? Why couldn't you discern that? You can't explain that to me. You don't know. You don't know. But I'm going to tell everybody at that church, God, God will see about you. And he is seeing about you because I'm seeing it right now. He has started seeing about you. And he ain't going to stop seeing about you until he's satisfied. Because you don't treat people how, how y'all treated me. And, and y'all, I wasn't going to get upset at first. But I'm upset. I am. Also, y'all, I'm using this, um, it's like an orange blush. If you're black, use orange blush. Thank me later. Y'all are not a church of love. Y'all are a church of bullying. Y'all are a church of hypocrisy. Y'all ain't a church of love. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Offense taken. Take it. Take all the offense. I don't want nothing to do with that church. I was trying to give gifts that God gave me to a group of people that did not deserve my gifts. And I say that because if they deserved it, they would have treated them better. And they would have nourished them. If I go, it's because God is going to put it on my spirit to go. But it won't be because I just want to go because I feel welcome. I don't. And what do you mean you should go to a church where there's a more mature crowd? How are you going to tell me how mature I am because of how I dress? I mean, I know I dress like a grown woman. What the hell does that have to do with my mindset in Christ? Baptized like for two years. That's still a baby, y'all. That is still a baby in Christ. And mind you, I know, I know, I know Christ more than y'all know Christ. And that's a darn shame. That you are serving in the church and you don't even know what, what Jesus sounds like. Again, because if you did, you would have heard him when he said, that's the one and she's a chosen vessel. But you didn't hear it. I'm sorry for even doubting myself. I'm sorry for doubting what you were telling me. I'm sorry for not listening when you were putting it on my spirit. That, Naya, this is not how you're supposed to be treated in a place that I want you in. So I'm not even as so, just so much so as mad at them, really. Because... I was trying to fit into a place that was not meant for me. They couldn't fit me. I'm too big. I am too big. That's what that's that's one thing she was right about. So I repent on my behalf for trying to fit in. Not fit in, but trying to be a part of something that couldn't fit me. And I want to say to anybody who has experienced church hurt, luckily, I was already like I already chose Jesus for myself, so I didn't really need, um, y'all, I know it looks white right now, but it's going to even not when I put blush on. I, luckily for me, I had already chose Jesus for myself, so I didn't need validation from anybody. But I did tell the first lady, I said, you have to understand that some people are new to Christ. They will take what Jay just said, and they will never come to church again. Because it's just some certain stuff you just don't say. But that didn't seem like it was a problem to her. It didn't seem like it was a big deal to her and as the first lady I'm disappointed in you too I have a right to say that I want somebody to check me I'm disappointed in you too as a first lady because you know better you do you know better God didn't give you that church for you to, for you to allow what's going on in that church to go on but then again you probably allow stuff in your household to go down and you don't have a, a handle on that either I say that because ministry starts at home I say that because ministry starts at the house that you lay your head at. So how you treated me and how you allow people to treat me at your church is 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 a is a replica or a, a direct representation of what happens that goes on at your house. So I apologize to you, Miss First Lady, for expecting you to do something about it. I didn't know. And I didn't put two and two together that ministry starts at home. And if that's how you allowed it to go down then that's how you allow a lot of stuff to go down. I don't want, I don't want to be a part of a ministry that, that treats their people how y'all allow people to treat y'all's people. I won't be a part of that. I'm not going to be a part of that. I accept that because... Why? Because God accepted me. There was a point in time in my life where if all this stuff would have happened, I would have took it upon myself and I would have thought, like, maybe there's something wrong with me. Like, maybe, you know, maybe there's something wrong with me, but no. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. If you've been rejected in a church like that, uh, honey, you probably are just too big and they don't know what to do with you. They don't know what to do with the anointing you carry. And that's all right. 
And I, I'm speaking out about it too, as well, because I had a dream about this. Um, a few days, I will say a few weeks ago, like two weeks ago, or a week and a half ago, I had a dream about the same incident that I'm telling y'all about right now. And in the dream, y'all, well, comment down below if y'all want me to tell that dream. Because there is a prophetic word that goes along with that dream. So just let me know. Uh, if not, that's cool too. It is what it is. Yo, know, makeup is just having fun. Just have fun. Don't piss me off. Just have fun. It's nothing but fun. Alright, we're gonna spray our face. One last time before we add a highlighter. I don't like talking to y'all with my head now. So the trick to get your um, eyelash to stay, you put the glue on the lash, but then you also put the glue on your lash line. Nope. You're gonna put on the one that is a little plumper first. Uh-uh, I don't want my tongue to be plumped up. And then right on top of it, I'm gonna put on this Maybelline Sparkle Gloss. I got these from Target, so don't ask a little too many questions, because I don't know. Okay, I don't have the answer. But I cut the bed at the back, because <laughs> I couldn't undo it and it was pissing me off. I can get it right now. I don't like how it looks because it's like flat at the top, but that's my fault because I flat ironed it at the top. And I probably went a little bit too far down, but if I go like this, that's low key fire though. Hey, that's low key, high key if you ask me. So we're just gonna end it off like this. I love you guys, have a good day. Thank you guys for watching, I enjoyed you. I'ma figure out what to do with my hair and we, we out, peace.